go get him again. Welcome back to the Rob Zoe channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to an unboxing first impression video. On my channel, we are giving a first impression on the brand of Initio. Very rare on my channel. I got a beef with this brand, and we're going to get into that, but this is their top seller, their moneymaker, side effect. Um, I've never smelt this, believe it or not. Um, I'm not a sucker for the free bottle brigade. Um, I'm the complete opposite. If I see a whole bunch of free bottles going throughout the community, everybody doing a video and giving out praises, flowers to a fragrance that hasn't even been out yet, or um, you see a bunch of links in the description, red flag all day, every day. Brand Initio, Parfum de Marley are the kings. We would say they're at the top of the mountain of the free bottle brigade where fragrance reviewers want more free bottles. They can't afford this. They can't afford several bottles of this stuff. And you see guys that go to discounters and then they have bottles of this beside it, like the whole line. And you're just starting to think like, what? Wait a minute. Where's the middle ground? Like you're, you don't any, you don't own any Chanel, Dior, Hermes, you know, all the really expensive stuff that's right beside this. Why would you buy a whole line? <laughs> I could have a whole video on that, but let's talk about side effect. And um, hopefully this video is going to help people. We don't know. Like, I, I don't know yet how I'm going to feel about it. I already have my preconceived notion of the brand, on, obviously. Um, I do own Oud for Greatness. Um, again, one that received lots of hype in our fragrance community. I blind bought this, and honestly, since my unboxing of it, a few years back, I've hardly worn this. And again, with 3,000 bottles in my collection, that kind of makes sense. But it's not a fragrance that I'm just like, ooh, this stands out, or I really wanted to wear this today. Um, it really blends in with a lot of other fragrances. And this is kind of apart from the Marley Initio. It's probably why I'm not a big fan of the brand because it's kind of like a high-end designer clone brand and they all really do smell alike. Um, so this one, of course, Hype Beast. Um, and again, I say that with an asterisk beside it because it's manufactured by the Free Bottle Brigade. Um, but it does pique my curiosity a bit to see what everyone sees in this because it has been a prolonged hype, we'll say. Um, there's a lot of fragrances that have been released in 2016, 17, 18. The Free Bottle Brigade has talked about and then they stopped talking about it because the Free Bottle is done. Their advertisement is done. The paycheck is in. Why talk about a fragrance now, um, even though you gave it flowers? Um, yeah, it doesn't, that's one of these that just kind of, it snowballs a little bit. So we'll see. Um, if you didn't know, this is the same brand. This is a sister brand of Parfum the Marley. Um, so always prudent about blind buying a brand like this, which shows the lack of videos on my channel, the lack of bottles in my collection. I only have one because I spend my own money on it. I'm not getting free bottles. And again, it's not like I can't afford it. Look behind me here. I, I can, you know, I'd rather spend it on a, a nice Gatelaine fragrance or, or a Dior uh, fragrance, to be quite honest. But uh, I am a fragrance reviewer, and this is where this comes into play. Uh, we'll see. Um, this is one part of the Carnal Blends collection. And uh, first and foremost, before we get to unboxing, uh, I would like to thank all that subscribe to my channel and the ones that smash the like button much appreciated on my part um, If you feel inclined to please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Um, it's much appreciated on my end to Have my face a little more within the free bottle brigade and kind of give out another a, a different idea Maybe a real idea of what the fragrance is all about so looking at the note breakdown, and I'm going to put it right beside me here, are you going to see the note breakdown on this? Uh, cinnamon, Hedion, uh, rum, saffron, tobacco, and vanilla. Um, the press release by the brand was they were kind of trying to basically pitch that Hedion is a pheromone of some sort. You can do some research on it. Don't If you're buying this because of that pheromones, I'll be honest, quite honest with you, you can't just buy something, and I'm sorry, a lot of you, you're new, um, you know, you're trying to get, like, there's not this ultimate thing that's going to get women wild. It doesn't work. Pheromone fragrances were a scam. Do your research. You'll know what I'm talking about. Now, maybe the research goes in that people think a little bit more when they, they smell hideon. 
just close that. If you're buying this for that, sucka, use a sucka. So <laughs> let's go into it. Um, this was released in 2016, so a long time ago. You know, way back when I was a little pup, I was in my 20s at least, right? I think so. My math ain't right. Um, and if I remember correctly, these these boxes within the box are launching are like rubbery. So they do spend some money. Is this a sleeve? Yes, it is. So yeah, they do spend. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Okay. So they do spend some money on the packaging, which hence you, the consumer, are paying for. So this was a sleeve. There you go. And this was the box and it has like a rubbery and even the the, the bottles kind of have like a, a rubbery feel to them um yeah they spend some money on their on their packaging we'll give them that um then they save money on real marketing and just send free bottles to uh fragrance reviewers mm, can't smell it so it's got that purple hue hence i'm wearing the charlotte hornets uh shirt here with a little bit of purple in it um, so this is supposed to be some sort of boozy with the rum, tobacco-based fragrance, and some vanilla. I'm going to put on strip first as usual and then putting it on my skin again. It's my first sniff of this. Let's see what I get out of this thing. And Hideon is a fixative. Um, so it is a note um, that is utilized in perfumery to uh, make things last longer, um, which is a good thing. This is very strong. It's actually not that, oh, I'm not gonna put the cap on right now. Okay, so. It's sweet, um, it's syrupy sweet. Mm, it's got like this red fruity, uh, let's say cherry. Is there tonka bean in this? Mmm, smells like there's tonka bean. Yeah. So thick, not boozy, but more syrupy on, on, on here. Okay. That's all I'm getting really is some sweetness. Not much out of it. So let's put it on skin, because skin always... Atomizer, not bad. So let's... Let's spray this and see what I get. Yeah. Mm. So. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of. I guess that's the tobacco. Okay. So, yeah, off the bat, I am, I just can't vibe with these, these initios and this perfume, the Marley stuff. I just, it really is Tonka Bean-esque. There's a vanillic aspect to it, but it, it really has a chair, Cherry, syrupy, sweet. Can you say boozy? Hardly. Um, there's the idea of booze. Personally, I can see that there's some cinnamon. I feel like there's clove in here too. So there is some spicy aspects that may make you think of a booziness, um, but the sweetness is so overpowering. Where's the, the bottom of the box? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Aaron Terrence Hughes. I'm gonna take a look at the ingredients. Eugenol, I knew it. Uh, Eugenol, of course, um, lots of, of clove. And it's given me that idea of clove. So Eugenol, if you didn't know, Eugenol whipping through the base. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so Eugenol, yeah, it's, it's not in the note breakdown, but you can have like a clove like aspect and it's kind of giving this feeling and it's in, uh, cinnamon and like a nutmeg, like, uh, facet that Eugenol does. Yeah. So 
This introduction is not unique to me. And again, it's a 2016 release. So um, it smells very Perfume de Marley Initio-ish from what I've smelt in my days. Now, again, granted, I'm not an expert like a lot of fragrance reviewers that have like the whole line. I don't have the whole line, but this smells familiar. It doesn't smell unique. Um, it has those characteristics. Is it boozy? You know, people see like a, a note, like rum in here and they're like, oh yeah, I get the rum. Eh, mm. Yeah. It, it just reminds me of designer perfumery, just amped up basically. Um, it, it's, it's a sweet, it, it is very rich. It does have depth. Um, it's tonka bean like more than, than vanillic, but it does have vanillic tendencies in here, even though vanilla is in the note breakdown. Um, Hideon usually smells like jasmine. I don't get any floral aspects in here at all. I do get an ambery warmth. Um, I do get a little bit of a pipe tobacco-ish, but again, it's all those the saffron and the, the cinnamon and, you know, that eugenol, that kind of clove kind of thing. Um, but it's thick, sugary, cherry, sweet, vanillic thing. Yeah, I, it's okay, but like for the price and the hype and the love, Mm. You know, I really do want to give some of these the chance or the, the light of day in my collection. And, you know, I, I do want to, you know, be as positive as I can. But, like, for the price they're asking here, this is like a, a well-made designer sweet gourmand thing going on and that's where I have an issue with the you know I feel like a designer brand or even a clone brand won't have any issues um and I you know I haven't looked online and said this is a clone of this this is I'm sure there's several uh, ideas because this smells very familiar to me a lot of it does there's nothing in this release right now that was a little bit of powdery aspect there's nothing in this release that wows me that says oh this is a niche fragrance this is a unique fragrance this is a fragrance that i will spend two three hundred dollars because anything behind it can't replicate this i'm sure if i went to fragrantica there's probably four or five clones that are 20 bucks that probably does this um not hard honestly i don't see anything in here that really stands out at least in the opening again i don't have the full picture of it oh i'm sure this is beast and it yells i mean this kind of <laughs> this brand and perfume de marley kind of reminds me of <laughs> people that just stumbled into money you know they want to wear like a shirt that says gucci all over uh, with a pattern um they they buy louis vuitton purses to make sure the lv's all over it um, this is the brand, like, look at me, look at me, I have money. This is what this brand screams out to me. And um, there's no substance. You know what I mean? Like, the house above me, Guerlain, uh, Dior, the Privé lineup, Hermes Essence, um, even Chanel, they have a, I don't know, they have substance to them. Um, they, they, they have a face to them. You know, Hermes Essence has their own little thing that they're not copying everybody. Chanel, everybody wants to be like Chanel. Um, so these brands have like a, a, a face to them. Um, there's a certain quality to them. There's a, and I'm not saying there's no quality here, but I'm just saying this smells like a faceless, like Le Mal Elixir, faceless. Like Le Mal had a face to it. Like Jean-Paul Gaultier from the 90s up. Everybody kind of knew what they, they stood for. That's the face of the brand. Like Amen from Muglier, same thing. That was the face of the brand. It had personality. Now, like even One Million, the original One Million, as much as you want to hate it, 
it had the Pakoraban DNA. Now that went uh, that went sideways somehow with Invictus and all that, and I'm not gonna get into that, but this reminds me of like these elixirs that are popping out that don't have the face or personality. Like, don't get me wrong, it smells nice. You know, like I pick out any of these fragrances. Like you don't have to spend this kind of money. There's a lot out there on the market that smells nice. This does smell nice. And like, I don't know if this is, is this marketed as a tobacco based scent? Cause I'm not getting much of it. It's there. It's more about the vanillic sweetness than anything. And the spices are big and punching. So like when I say clove, don't worry about it. It's not like muscat vajal or clove. Like it doesn't have that 3D personality. Um, cinnamon, it doesn't really have that big personality that a lot of fragrances that have cinnamon. It's very much like this. A little bit of peppery saffron in here. Yeah. So at the end of the day, side effect is, you know, <laughs> Like, I, I, I'm not worried that I, you know, I just got this now in 2024. It's been on the market for so long. So many people have been talking about it. I kind of knew, like, I, I kind of expected this to happen. And uh, I am covering my oud for greatness here. And it's the same thing with this. Like, this was underwhelming for what um, I saw online. And I gave this brand a chance. And I, I will continue with all brands. Um, anybody that knows me in my channel, I will revisit these brands. It's not the end of the day for a side effect or an issue. I may come back to the brand maybe sooner rather than later. We'll see. But at the end of the day, this is just a okay release. Uh, for the price, you could probably find a lot better for a lot cheaper or the almost the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, it just reminds me of new money that just look at me big brash bold put like 10 sprays of this and you know engulf the whole room and some people may give you compliments but like probably 80 percent of people are going like oh what are you doing like <laughs> um and that's the thing with these these types of people you know i got compliment yeah well you know not a lot of people will come up to you and go hey buddy you know tone it down a little bit more people are gonna come up to you and go, mm, that smells nice. So think about that. Um, in regards to side effect, um, it is not a, a personal bottle for my collection. I am decanting this. Fragflex.com will have this 10 mil decants coming next week on their website. Um, since I'm decanting these, you can utilize coupon code TFG. Uh, 10 to receive 10% off on your decants or anything on that website actually, but I am decanting this whole thing. I'm keeping none of it, none of it. Um, and that's the great thing about me decanting a little bit more now. I'm gonna get some popular fragrances, Parfum the Marley and Issue and stuff like that, and I can finally give my thoughts, finally, because I really had no inclination of, really, this was on my wish list, but way at the bottom. Like I rather have more interesting things and yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit of woody and powdery undertones in here. And the cinnamon is kind of a little bit sweet. So now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. And I know this is polarizing and uh, I know some people are going to say, well, you already hated the brand before you even unboxed it. And I do. And I'm waiting. And again, I hate, a lot of brands, but I still give them a chance. That's my intro. My intro is always going to be, this brand hasn't showed me anything. Please show me something. That's how I do it. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna do anything like that. My intro is my intro. I did not have like a preconceived that I'm gonna hate on this, I'm gonna bash on it just for funsies. No. And again, I didn't say it's a, a shitty fragrance. Um, it's good for what it is, but for the price, and then you start putting the math in for the price and all that, that's a hard sell. Yeah. As always, a great upon fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Definitely with the brand of Initio. If you have to take away one thing out of this fragrance review, if you're new to this whole thing, 
You know, you see this in Perfume the Marley all over. Free Bottle Brigade, Free Bottle Brigade, Free Bottle Brigade. Fake hype. A lot of it. A lot of it. Some people may actually like these fragrances, but that's the thing. When they say, oh, the best, the best ever, and then the next release comes out, oh, that's the best ever, and the next release comes out, the best ever. You start thinking, okay, so Initio never, never misses? <laughs> Parfum the Marley never misses? Um, yeah, that's where you gotta kinda start looking at your fragrance reviewing list and you're like, well, you, you, and you kinda like everything for a reason. Um, so, as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.